Okay, in this video, we're going to use the stencils that you made before. Now I've got two triangles as you can see. I'm gonna cut the top off. And now I've got a trapezium. It's that easy to make new shapes. Now before I didn't have to, I thought about it, I didn't have to make this triangle. I could have cut my square in half and I would have had two triangles there. All right, there's lots of different ways you can make shapes, be creative. Today, for this tessellation, I'm gonna use a triangle. It's one of our regular uh, polygons that can create a regular tessellation. Here it is, I'm gonna start at the side and I'm going to trace around as neat as I can. You might wanna use a pencil so when you go over it later, you can use your ruler so it's a little bit neater. As such. Now using our transformations, I can use a translation, which is moving it in a straight line to another location. Same size shape, same everything. It's just been translated from one area to the next in a straight line. I could go and rotate it. Hundred and eighty degrees. Get my ruler. I can use a ref the reflection, like a mirror. Drop it down. So using my types of transformations, I can start making patterns using my shape. Now I'm using only one shape for this. This is a regular tessellation. Here is my finished product using my triangle. This is using my tessellations. Again, tessellations are infinite, so they do not ever end. And that's the beauty of a tessellation, the pattern. Now I've used rotation, I've used translation, I've used reflection, I've used lots of different transformation techniques. This is what I'm expecting that your, uh, your tessellations look like. Make sure they're colored, make sure they're outlined, neat and tidy.